All right, guys, the fixed fee invoicing calculator type has some new features um, that we're going to walk through right now. It's really popular with architecture and engineering firms. Um, this new feature is percent complete billing. So we're really excited about this. Let's go ahead and walk through it together. We're gonna go to my company project list, which is the screen I am on now. I'm going to click on a project that has a few tasks created um, against it. When I click on task 1.0 here, we can see that I've estimated 50 hours for my budget, $500 for the fees, and then we have the expense budget here uh, for $35. We can also include start and due dates, um, but we have another video that goes into detail on how to create your budgets. So let's go ahead and cancel out of here. And there's a quick shortcut in which we can jump straight to billing this customer. We're gonna to go to billing history here and simply click add invoice. From right here, um, we have the manual invoice and TNM invoice calculator here. So if you're just starting out with us, you wanna go ahead and turn on this feature. We're just gonna go ahead and hit on for fixed fee and we get a brief description of what this entails and then we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Okay, so now we have fixed fee to go ahead and pick from and we're gonna go ahead and hit next. So here's where all the changes have been made. On step three for the invoice wizard, we've got our client name here and we've got the tasks um, that are available to this project to bill. We can see we have the familiar UI uh, here for milestone billing. We have whether or not it's completed. If it's marked as completed, 100% complete, you'll see a check mark here. We have our total budget of $535, prior billings, and also what you're going to bill this invoice. Um, if for milestone billing, we're always going to assume that we want to go ahead and bill the full amount, but if you check this field here, you can go ahead and actually alter this amount. So this, you guys should, um, you guys are probably familiar with it, but we're gonna go ahead and switch over to percent complete billing. So for the new features, you want to go ahead and click on this guy up here, the header, and it's going to let you switch between um, the milestone billing calculator, and we can also utilize the percent complete billing. So percent complete billing will allow you to go ahead and enter a percentage you'd like to bill on this task. So for example, if I want to bill out uh, let's say 25% of my total budget. Here, Big Time is going to auto calculate the amount this invoice uh, based on this budget should be populating for your invoice line items. And it also is going to auto select the task if you're altering this value. So let's go ahead and finalize this invoice. So we're going to go back to the wizard so you can see. Um, what has changed when you start to progress throughout your tasks. So we're gonna hit add invoice again, click on fixed fee, and then here you can actually see prior billings, um, the percent complete uh, that's already been billed, and then you can go ahead and actually bill more to this client. So let's go ahead and up this number. And then Big Time is going to once again populate this invoice amount based on the alterations you've made here. So once you're progressing um, to completion for these tasks, this is going to keep track of what you previously billed and what you want to bill this invoice. Now that is not just it. We also have options so that you can add more information to view at a glance by hitting this settings gear icon at the upper right. So let's take a look at what we've got here as some options. We can go ahead and show WIP summary. So you're going to activate this option if you want to show the current time and expenses in WIP ready to be built against these tasks. So you can keep track of whether or not you want to relieve that WIP or create a separate invoice based um, using our TNM calculator. We can go ahead and show invoice percentages so that the total dollars invoice on current prior invoices will appear there so you can see what percentage has been previously billed um, 
at a glance and also what percentage is currently being calculated for this invoice. And then for project managers that prefer to keep the percent completed values separate from the billing completed values, you can check this option on. I believe um, that will just go ahead and let you manage the percent completion based on task completion and not necessarily have it tie auto automatically based on the changes here. If you leave this unchecked, and you're changing the percent completed values, we're going to assume that you want the percent completed values on that task updated as well. I'm going to go ahead and select these two options and hit save. You'll notice here that we have uh, prior billings relieved uh, for WIP, which is time and expenses that have been relieved against this task as zero. So we didn't have any time and expenses attached to this task on the previous invoice. We're billing $134 here. Um, there is nothing in WIP currently to this task, um, but if we did have any time and expenses to this task, this value will populate here. We can see that the per previously billed was 25% and this amount here for this invoice, which totals to the amount that I adjusted here. So I'm going to go ahead and finalize this draft. And then we can go ahead and jump straight into that draft. Now a lot of our customers are going to want to actually report back to their customers on the progress they've made on their tasks. So we've also included um, some new features to our print templates, which are fully customizable. So let's go ahead and jump into creating a custom invoice template and take a look at the new features added. We're going to hit customize, go to customize, and then let's go ahead and hit create new. So creating a invoice template as is easy as one, two, three. Now let's get to the new features. We've added budget status here, so you can go ahead and show what's been budgeted on each individual task, like we were looking on task 1.0. You can show prior billings, dollars, and percentages, and then you can look at current billings, uh, dollars, and percentages. And if you go ahead and hover over these eye icons, you're going to get a brief description of what these fields and what you should expect from your print template when including them. So I'm going to go ahead and show um, overall budget, prior percent, uh, current percent. Let's go ahead and include those. And then, of course, we still have here the receipt functionality. So if your users are entering um, their expenses via our mobile apps, um, you can include those images of those receipts by picking one of these formatting options here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to finalize my choices here. I'm not going to show time and expense details, and I'm gonna show the budget status. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Great, so now let's print our invoice. So to do that, you wanna go ahead and click the printer icon here, and then select the name of the print template um, that we just designed. So mine is fixed fee progress, and depending on your PC settings, so here on my computer, it's going to download within the browser within Google Chrome. So based on the browser, it might appear differently for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And we've got our logo showing here. We have our summary line items. And then here are the new available fields within the print template. So we have the prior billings, the amount being billed on this invoice, and our total budget. Um, so this will default to show all the tasks um, included on your client, so you can report back the progress being made as you move through, through these tasks. And that is our new features in a nutshell for fixed fee billing.